Okay, everybody. Uh, good evening. My name is Aaron Holland, and I work with the technology department, primarily at the high school. But uh, I thought I'd uh, try to do a series of videos. Um, our department thought it might be uh, good to do uh, two types of videos for the teachers. Um, one we felt. Uh, one we felt um, could be done for um, uh, basically uh, troubleshooting techniques uh, you know primarily done with the uh, Wii board uh, the Wiimote smooth board system both uh, the interface you're seeing here where it would be you know going down here to this area here and in interface uh, troubleshooting here using uh, your toolbar features where you can see everything on my desktop and hear my voice but not actually see me and then we also wanted to have uh, tutorials as well uh, troubleshooting uh, techniques on how to fix things um, also in the real world where you could actually see us interacting with uh, different devices and uh, peripherals on a computer to have to do with uh, the smooth board as well uh, but it kind of got our creative juices flowing and we think we might have other applications for this now that we found it because the possibilities for this software uh, for the implementation of everything we got going on right now I, I think everyone when taken in the context of is it beneficial for our teachers and our students you're gonna see beyond a shadow of a doubt that this is an awesome thing. I mean, we now have ways that we can communicate with you that we never had before. We have ways that if you have a question, you can come to us now, uh, no matter where you're at. If this stuff is posted online, you can go to an interface and download a video or a, a, a Word document or a PDF, you, however you want to do it, however you interact better whether you like to read documentation or you like to if you're a visual learner however you want to look at it it's tailored for you so I feel and several in my department feel that this is a good addition to the services we provide to you because we want to be the best at what we do and we want to continue to innovate as we always have now with that in mind what you're looking at here on my desktop first of all I'm in the Windows 7 environment um, I know a lot of the teachers countywide minus the high school um, are gonna have a Windows 7 computer uh, the high school 90 to 95 percent of the teachers over there y'all are still running Windows XP we're working on that <clears throat> everywhere else countywide uh, y'all have got Windows 7 that's a good thing so for the most part you're going to be familiar with this interface the only thing different is you're going to notice uh, we're looking at the uh, Google Chrome browser okay this uh, right here that I'm kind of messing with hello there okay uh, this is going to be your basic interface when you first download Google Chrome now what you do basically when you download Google Chrome is uh, you know obviously you're gonna to go to the Chrome web store and this is where you're gonna get all of your additional features you can see right up here this is where all my extensions and things of that nature are and I'll go over those in great detail uh, at a later date <clears throat> the extensions you can download utilities extensions and themes uh, and these are uh, vindicative of the particular browser Chrome so these are uh, things you can download that are perfect to help you tailor to your needs you know uh, depending on how you surf the net or how you view things you know um, <clears throat> again this is a whole different aspect of things everybody's probably used to using Internet Explorer or even Firefox but the latest data shows uh, very uh, very plainly Internet Explorer use is down tremendously and our big guns now are Firefox and Chrome hands down so uh, we were looking for a hands down solution 
uh, an interface for our interactive whiteboards that would allow you as a teacher to have an interactive whiteboard uh, canvas if you will to paint the picture of your daily environment for your kids okay for your students and honestly uh, well, what we could find on both the Internet Explorer and Firefox sites, uh, let's 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 face it, folks. If you're going to be using a projector, you're going to be showing something web-based, okay, or some sort of video um, web-based as well. Whether you're going to, uh, you know, um, you know, History.com or wherever you may go. Um, to show these things, uh, Quizlet or wherever, there's a myriad of possibilities where you can go. <clears throat> but basically, you look at this scenario, and this gives you the canvas that you need uh, as an interactive whiteboard to allow you to remain in the front of your classroom uh, or wherever else you may be, even your iPad with the Splash Top app or any other. Um, apps that are out there that allow you to take control of your desktop. Uh, Smoothboard has a, an additional feature in there. It's called Smoothboard Air and it allows you to do the same thing and it's included in that software uh, with the interactive whiteboard feature. So that's a cool part. But basically what we've done is we figured out that there's a um, there's an actual extension called um, FVD Speed Dial. Okay, And what it is is this is where we get into the real cool stuff of um, Google Chrome. Imagine your kids coming in and they see this when they walk in on that big projector in the front of the classroom. Okay, What you have here is your little interactive area. Okay, If you double click, bam, you've got your websites. These websites I've got are K through 5. Okay, You can see I have other dials I've created. English, Social Studies, The Arts, these are all interactive websites that are going to um, knock the socks off of your kids, of your students. Um, I've done the best I can do to find links that are relevant. When I talk about relevant, I'm talking about links to websites that, number one, they're established. They're going to be around. Um, number two, uh, that they actually go and coincide with our curriculum uh, that they, they teach something that, that, that that's in line with what we're trying to teach in our classrooms um, you can look in uh, just everything that you can see here uh, but basically I won't go into too much detail here because again in the later videos hopefully I can do I'd like to be able to just show you it's just nothing to do with any kind of like training or anything like that okay well we, I want to try to get away from that that's not our job it's not what we're trying to do what we're trying to do here is it, it, we want to be enablers we want to enable our teachers uh, we want them to be discoverers okay what we want to do is we want to leave you enough bread bread crumbs sorry about that but enough bread crumbs for y'all to find your way to where you know you can either call it the promised land you know or Hansel and Gretel's food house however y'all want to take it you take it that way but basically what we want to do is we want to put as many tools in your hand that are relevant for your needs as a teacher okay and I'm just gonna give you just a few examples so you see uh, that that this isn't just something that uh, we're cooking up uh, for dinner on a Friday night and it's called leftovers alright what we got here what you're looking at is uh, the Google Art Project okay and what you can do here is you're looking at right now you can go any of these museums you click on these imagine this in an interactive environment okay um, uh, I may have messed this thing up might have went just a little bit too quick locations let's go to um, Europe let's go to France okay let's go to Palace of Versailles the Treaty of Versailles okay now let's 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 look at this okay uh, it's still not doing what I want here uh, museum view there we go okay took me a little bit check this out people look at this rather than taking your kids halfway across the world literally you can stay in your classroom and you can go 
right here and you <laughs> look at this you're you're there you're right there uh, amazing is it not amazing I mean right here if you're an art teacher I would eat this up look at the detail I mean look at the detail folks I mean seriously this is just like bush baked beans roll that beautiful bean footage okay that's what I'm talking about this is the kind of stuff we're talking about alright uh, like I said <clears throat> I want to be real plain here uh, and uh, you know you've got your elementary level K-12 or you know K-5 through um, even some of our special needs kids um, you've got a uh, real quick uh, thing here where it tells you what to do uh, all good stuff but you can color in this stuff so cool have kids come to the front of the classroom interact uh, I know it seems simple but there's something practical here for everybody alright now the cool thing about this is it's highly customizable I mean highly you can go to your picture view and uh, I really like this one here this one's pretty cool right and you can do your background bam there's your background so every day you can have a different background when your kids come to class and see something new you know if you want to have a mathematical something up there about Albert Einstein standing up there with his tongue sticking out hey good something new every day to engage these kids they're gonna be excited about coming to class rather than getting there late they're gonna be running from one end of the school to the other just to find out what they got in store awesome stuff awesome times another part I wanted to mention was this thing over here on the side here okay <clears throat> you actually have the apps of the Chrome Web Store okay and where you get them is you go to the Chrome Web Store which is this URL here okay and when you download Chrome it automatically points you there and you just start downloading just just download by default it's gonna put uh, the Chrome Web Store on your favorites list okay so you, you it's a win-win okay but look at this tab right here education education I mean uh, a lot of the stuff I'm finding uh, the creme de la creme so to speak a lot of what I found that are good and useful for me from what I'm doing teacher and admin tools awesome stuff here awesome um, but there's stuff here for everyone okay uh, I, I can't even imagine uh, the implications that can be done here and this is just the Chrome side of it this isn't counting anything you already have in your curriculum anything you already have in your favorites anything you already have uh, that you've already saved in a PowerPoint in anything you can use Google Docs literally right and and literally upload it in this environment right to where it's 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 right here and it's you never have to leave the front of the classroom you never not to say you don't you know if you want to you can't and I'm not saying you don't have to but it's amazing the possibilities are endless there's so many different things you can do you can take web pages and change them from 2d to 3d uh, by the click of a button it's the old generic 3d where you could color the glasses blue and red uh, with a little bit of plastic in them uh, you, you know I could see an engineering class or a science class in middle school doing this just for fun and for kicks and uh, it actually teaches them practical real-world applications okay uh, you know literally it, it's amazing you got graphing calculators you've got the uh, pie cra graph chart here thing um, you've got so many applications for this just contain within Chrome from Google free of charge I can't even I, I, I can't even begin to explain the possibilities here I mean I just, I just it that, that's the part that excites me most so it's my hope that what you can glean from these videos is even if you take one or two things we you know we're not asking you to run with everything you know we don't want you to look at this and say oh I want every one of these I want to use all these you might take only one or two of these things right yeah that's that may be what all you may do you know you may do a, 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 a thing in your um, world history or your um, your atlas or whatever 
and uh, you may uh, want to show somebody a view of the Alps uh, uh, you can do a 3D tour with this app right here <clears throat> cycling the Alps and it's amazing how it actually takes you right and it puts you right in the mix I mean watch this just just I mean get ready to experience the magic folks I mean it's taking you right down and you're like oh man this is rough but look just look at the detail look at the detail as as the world progresses the details get more and more intimate I mean it's just amazing <clears throat> and to think someone rode their bike on that that's crazy that right there is crazy okay do you not think your kids really K through 12 would look at that right there and be like no way okay that right there is something to get excited about that right there is amazing okay so uh, the cool thing is you can just take this thing just you fast forward it uh, you can do all kinds of stuff with it just it's amazing so like I said the practical applications of this are uh, amazing um, and like I said it's just my hope uh, that uh, you might take something from this and use it because if it can benefit your classroom or your students in any way that's what it's all about it's about you and it's about your students uh, I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to this video and hopefully uh, you got some from it thanks